Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on October 26th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a space weather update, world weather, earthquakes and volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Start now here, always looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, as we did have a pretty spastic event overnight. Many M-class solar flares from that very large cresting sunspot in the northwest region of the sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming imagery with a little earth, earth to scale. As well, watching large plasma filaments erecting from the southern region. I did release a video on the beginning of this event. I did not think it would last this long. There's been at least five M-class solar flares from that very active sunspot. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing imagery, pretty quiet except for that long plasma filament erecting on the left-hand side there. Looks to be wrapped around the sun. Another co close look here, 304 angstroms of that sunspot. And look at that. Amazing imagery coming from Solar Dynamic Dynamics Observatory today and as well in the southern region Watching one, two, three, four sunspots. Looks like a couple twins here. In the bottom left. Multi-spectrum here. Nothing major to report or thwarted our way. Just amazing images of our sun. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today to the Daily Do. Please don't forget to hit hit that like button, and as well, share with your friends and family from around the world. One more close look at that very spastic sun event. Two major solar flares, and they're showing up here on Iswa. Kind of looks like one, but there was two involved in that. And again, not in an earth-facing position, thank the Lord. But we do have some active Earth-facing sunspots right now. So let's hope they all stay together here. Having a look at Alaska 2. The last 48 hours as well. Actually, it's not even. This is just the last 12 hours. Pretty thick plasma filaments on its way to the abyss. Having a look at the solar X-ray flux you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight events here, upwards of M class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real time solar wind, we're sitting at about 379 kilometers per second. Slightly elevated today to 388, but it has been pretty sporadic across for wind speed and as well the density which is in the orange. Temperature is in the green. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 20, star 40, whatever that means. I don't know if that's a split, but you can see a couple healthy spikes here over the past 48 hours. A power of 40, quality of 17. Amplitude power of 19. Let's have a quick look at earthquakes across the world the last 24 hours. We're going to start out here with the largest. And that was in the South Sandwich Islands this morning. Originally came in as a 6.1, downgraded to a 5.9 east of the South Sandwich Islands at a 10 kilometer depth. It was to be about 500 kilometers east and as well a 5.0 here. Ring it off South Sandwich Islands. Way too quiet. South American plate, not an earthquake to report as well through Central America. Except for the Virgin Islands, 3.6 there. Minor earthquakes coming through. North American plate here, Odessa, Texas, 3.6 and as well a 3.4. Pretty rare earthquakes for Odessa. And as well, Steel, Missouri, seeing a 2.8, 6 kilometer depth up into the New Madrid it's been pretty quiet through there recently, seeing a couple recent South Carolina earthquakes as well. 
Malibu, California reporting a 2.6 off the beach today. And as well, Trona, California, 2.7, one kilometer depth. And Yukaipa, California, 2.5. And right up into Anderson Springs, California with a 3.0. Other than that, pretty minor activity across western United States. Alum Rock there, California 2.8. Activity coming back to Hawaii. Definitely coming back to Hawaii. Watching minor earthquakes through Pahala. And as well, look at the last 24 hours of infrared time lapse here of the Kilauea crater, crater. This is the summit that is filling up and has been for quite some time. Amazing imagery coming here from USGS. Looking inside the Kilauea crater. And do you remember me mentioning watch for Krakatoa to wake up due to the earthquakes in the region? Well, sure enough, it did. Stay tuned for that coming right up. Minor activity through Alaska. Kamchatka seeing a 4.5 here. Kamchatsky. And as well a 4.5 and a 4.9 here. And Nami, Japan. Pretty shallow quakes there. As well a 4.5 here to report in Severomyesk, Russia. And Kuka, China at a 37 kilometer depth, 4.7. 4.3 here in Bengkulu, Indonesia. That's just north of Krakatoa. And as well, Luban, Bajo, Indonesia, 4.3. 4.6 here in the Philippines, 70 kilometer depth. And Ternate, Indonesia, 4.8. 4.9 here, a 4.9 in Kermadec Islands. And as well, New Zealand to Anu, a 4.3. Last 24 hours looking pretty quiet. But USGS is selling, telling different because there are a lot of minor earthquakes popping off in Hawaii right now. So Hawaii is on watch and as well Central America and South America on watch today right down to the South Sandwich Islands and up into Iceland. Stay aware and prepared everybody. Just have a plan. Having a quick look here across the world the last seven days for earthquakes. Give you an idea of what is happening to our planet on a daily basis. Much love and prayers to everybody across the world being affected by earthquakes, natural disasters, human interactions. Much love to y'all. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Fuego in Guatemala and as well Sabincaya, Peru, La Palma in Spain, Reventador in Ecuador, Kermiski, Russia, Etna in Italy, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Luatolo, Indonesia, Nevada to Rules, Colombia, Semis Nepochnoi, United States, and look at this, Krakatoa, 17 hours ago, and in my last video I had mentioned watch for Krakatoa to wake up. Sure enough, Krakatoa is awake. Indonesia 17 hours ago reported most likely on yellow alert. We'll carry on here with the most recent volcanoes getting updated and there's about 14 today. Ebiko in Russia, Karangatang, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Nevadas de Chile in Colombia, Yasser in Vanuatu. No major tropical storms to talk about in the Atlantic nor in the East Pacific, except for Tropical Storm Rick, who is heading over into Texas as we speak. So watch for extreme weather to be breaking out tomorrow. We do have Tropical Storm Melo, who is in the West Pacific and won't be affecting land masses at all as it heads northeast into the Central Pacific. Looking here through the equator, we could have a tropical storm developing in the long range, but there's probably about a 40% chance of that through the West Pacific. The only storm to talk about, Tropical Storm Melo, 
and as well a small one affecting Thailand over the next 24 hours. Something I wanted to share here with you is our upper level wind streams. We're looking at upper level winds through Null School at 10,000 feet, and the polar vortex is definitely setting in, looking at cold temperatures, more so in Europe and Russia, really start to invade southward. Look at that, minus 42 in Greenland. And as well, just look at the southern hemisphere vortex setting up as well. This is all brought to you by nullschool.com. You can see these images yourself. Check it out. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and Daily Events Worldwide. We're going to start out here in Brantford, Ontario, home base for now. As yeah, It's cold and it's rainy and it's going to continue on here for the next few days. Watch that cold high-pressure ridge moving in from Quebec and watch for a nor'easter to develop just south of us, northeastern parts of the United States, and then head into the Atlantic provinces by Sunday, right into Nova Scotia and PEI. Center of the low is going to head right over New York. Watch for extreme weather all through southeastern United States and northeastern. And then across the west here, west coast still getting pounded by rain, Alaska will be receiving a lot of snow, and as well, Calgary will be receiving some snow over the next little bit. Friday into Saturday, watch for about 5 centimeters of snow, but also watch for very cool temperatures to be rocking away through the foothills of Alberta, minus 21 in some places by the end of this five-day forecast. So cold air and winter is on its way, and it's a little bit early. That's right. We're in fall, folks. Just so you know, having a look here at windy.com showing the next 10 days for snow totals across North America and up into Alaska. Look at here. Could be 5 meters of snow, 500 centimeters of snow falling in parts of Alaska. Three big low-pressure systems affecting you this week. Overlooking Europe and into Russia. Big changes coming. And that's due to these systems here heading into Alaska. Look at that. One, two, three low pressure systems. Heavy snow warning for part for Anchorage and all surrounding areas, parts of Alaska and north. And as well, extreme cold temperatures for parts of BC and Alberta. Overlooking the Atlantic. The big possible nor'easter is going to be battling high pressure ridge through the central Atlantic. Big low pressure system here heading over the United Kingdom, flooding in a lot of rain from the Atlantic. But it seems to be riding a pretty high pressure ridge over Afghanistan. You've got extreme weather heading into Italy as well, still flooding conditions through Sicily. Overlooking Russia here, as I was talking about last forecast, there is a blizzard forming in the long-range forecast here for parts of central Russia. And that's definitely going to be bringing down colder temperatures across the northern hemisphere. Look at the cold temperature, high-pressure ridge stretching as far down as the Tibetan Plateau. All these higher elevations seeing these really cold early temperatures. That's a sign. Collapsed magnetosphere. Overlooking Indonesia, Micronesia, East Indies. Tropical. No tropical systems to talk about. Except for daily evaporation rains. Also Australia here. Watch for a low pressure system to run along the southern coast of Australia. Head through Victoria. And then really hammer Tasmania. Low, the low pressure system will be heading straight over the country. And as well, you've got a low pressure system here developing. Long range forecast, northern territory of Australia. Could see some pretty extreme weather there. So heads up, my Aussie friends. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean. No major weather events heading towards Hawaii. Just watching those interesting West Pacific tropical storms heading into Alaska and BC still. Long range forecast. Overlooking South America, 
daily evaporation rains, no major systems to talk about, but you could see some pretty heavy rains through parts of Panama and Bolivia this week. Africa, no major weather systems affecting you, except for this low pressure system in the long range forecast affecting South Africa. Half of the energy is going to follow the high pressure ridge just south of it, and the other half is going to head towards Mozambique. Again, going to be keeping an eye on the low pressure system in the Indian Ocean. Leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems affecting our planet right now. Thanks everybody again for watching. Much love. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.